Welcome! I just spent 5 hours playing it on the TTS and I thought I should give you guys some first impression on the new map and the three new operators. If we start with Legion, his cloaked mines, they're not very powerful and it's pretty easy to counter them. Thatcher can almost clear a whole room of them, Twitch drone sees them very easily when it goes along the floor and of course you can have IQ. And even if you don't have any of those, just spray in the hallway and you often get them away. A better place to place your leash and cloak mines is inside windows, because it's harder when you jump through the window to shoot if it's cloaked. Because when you put them in the doors, attackers will usually just shoot away them. And even when you step on the cloaked mine, it's not that bad and you often can get yourself out of that situation. Sure, he has 7 of them if he stays alive long enough, but I still think his unique ability is not that strong, but it can be very useful on some objectives. He's also an operator that grows a lot in strength if he plays in a team that communicate well. His gun stand? Well, the silenced shotgun is powerful and fast, but I personally prefer the SMG every day. But this also comes down to personal preferences and how you play the game. I equipped the SMG with the red dot sight, the flash hider, I also used the impact grenades to create rotations holes that can be useful to get around quick. If we move on to my new love, Ella. She's just so much fun to play with. She's a free speed defender just at Jaeger, Bandit, Paws and Cavera. Her proximity mines are also very useful if we place them right. If you for example put them on top of doors when you know the attackers will come through, and then also either yourself or a teammate is ready to pop out and get the kill as soon as the mine goes off, it's very useful. So the first few hours of playing her, I usually put one or two mines pretty close to the objective on top of doors to help teammates set anchors on the site. And then I also put one or two where I roam and is ready to jump out on attackers as soon as the mine goes off. A good tip is also to always save one mine extra, so for example if you get in a firefight, you can fall back, set on top of a door and just wait for the attacker to follow you and as soon as they go through that mine you just pop out and shoot them. So if you look at her loadout, she also have a semi-automatic shotgun with a fast reload, but I prefer her submachine gun, the Scorpion, with a massive 50 round magazine and a very high fire rate. I run her gun with a red dot sight, flash hider and vertical grip. Then you also have her pistol that have a red dot sight and it's very useful and it's hands down the pistol in the game that I have the best accuracy with. I then prefer the barbed wire as the gadget since a defense can never have too much barbed wire. Then we have Jing, the operator I thought would have the biggest impact of the game, but after playing both with her and against her, I can say that the flash charges is not as powerful as I thought. When Ubisoft said that it will fill a room with flashbacks, I thought that if you're in that room, you will be blinded. But if you're anchoring on a site and she throws in a candela, you only need to stay behind cover or look away and it doesn't affect you at all. So then, Jing's only chance to kill you is in that exact short time when you look away as it detonates. Sure, that can happen, but often the anchor can have a safe spot behind some cover that makes it hard to kill him in just a few seconds. When playing with her, I got some very good kills after flashing a whole room, so she is absolutely not useless. She's just not as powerful as I thought, and she would still be a very good pick on some objectives, but she will not be the game changer that I thought she would be. When playing with Ying, you should drone out rooms carefully before throwing in the candela, because just as I said, you only have a very limited time to kill them off if they're not get blinded, so you need to know where they are, so as soon as you throw that in and start detonating, jump in and you know where they are so you can shoot them quickly. If we take a look at her loadout, she also has a really nice light machine gun with 80 rounds in the magazine and a very easy recoil. It's pretty similar to Capitao's para when it comes to fire rate and damage. She also has the same shotguns as Legion, but without the silencer, and you can run breach charges or the new smoke grenades. And the new smokes, they block off the view if I put it that way. Just look at this, it's maybe not pretty, but it sure does the job. Nobody can see through that smoke and it will be very powerful to use when planting and also to hide rotations or block off defenders anchoring. So to recap, Ella is super fun to play with and can be a very good pick on defense. Legion and Jing is good, but not as good as the hype was. But as always, we need to give this some time. After a week or two we know more how good they really are, but I thought I should give you some first impression after playing with them for 5 hours. The new map then? 
Well, a few hours is too little to say about a map, especially a map like this. But I think this will be a very good map when you learn it. And just as I talked about in my video when the map layout was leaked, it's a very complex map with a lot of rooms and small corners. I also love the theme in the map and it feels like they spent a lot of time on this map. It's very well done and my guess is they spent just as much effort to make it balance. And just as we talked earlier about, the map is dark, but with the new lighting system it's, it's not too dark. I will stop talking now, but I will leave you with some gameplay footage from the first 5 hours of playing on the TTS with the new Operation Blood Orchid patch. Have you tested the new operators yet? What's your thoughts around them? Who is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments and if you liked the video please leave a like and if you don't already do please subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming guides just like this one.